All right, I want to do an update on McGruffy Math versus Right Start now that we've done it for a little bit longer. So we've done it, we started in December, and now it is March. I still am liking McGruffy Math for us. I feel like Right Start does have a better foundation maybe and more strategies and helps you to actually see math a little bit more. But they do use a lot of manipulatives in McGruffy, so that's very helpful. I do wish I'd gone ahead. I'd bought just the workbooks and then the teacher's book and I didn't buy the manipulatives because we had so much stuff with Right Start so I thought we were good. I ended up having to buy enough manipulatives because they had to be very specific to that math. Especially with my girls, they just don't do well with things that are different. So I wanted to give them the best possible start so we ended up buying them. And Rainbow Resource has some really good deals so I did get pretty good prices for them, but I wish I'd gone ahead and bought the manipulatives pack because I think it's like $44 and we probably would have been, we probably spent about the same buying, you know, extras. And I tend to buy it in twos since I have twins that are both doing the math. So also we we're going through it much faster than we were the Right Start curriculum. So the Right Start curriculum, we'd been doing it for probably a year and a half and we were on the same lesson that we are now on this one, which is we're in, we're, I think we're almost at lesson 50 in McGruffy. So that's huge. We've been able to do a lesson a day. With Right Start, we were averaging a lesson and a half to maybe two lessons a week if we were doing really well. So I feel like we're gonna get through this curriculum a little bit better. It is not quite as advanced as Right Start, so um, they aren't going to be having that crazy head start, but I feel like this is actually working better for them. I am a little disappointed in the, the fact there's no strategy for adding and subtracting. So far, there might be coming up. They do just have them use manipulatives for it. Um, for them, they have them use a lot of these counters, which I went ahead and bought, but we haven't used. Because, and then, well, let me, and they have them use that was loud. Base 10 blocks, like this. We have a lot of them already, so I didn't have to buy more of those. Um, those have come in really handy, having so many of them. But also, we have stuck with using our abacus. I still love our abacus. I think it does so much better than the counters. It keeps everything nice and neat. They can't lose it and don't get, you know, don't get confused and lose the counters or put them in the wrong place. And since we've already learned how to use it, it works great. I like that better. So we do use that. That doesn't come with the curriculum and it's not taught how to use it with this curriculum. That was right start. Um, okay, so they did have problems. Fine. They have really loved it, but they did have some problems with some of the hands-on stuff. So they had to use these cubes and they give you like several views of the of a shape, like a 3D shape that you, like this. So you have all these side views and you have to figure out from this what it would look like. So this is one side, this is one side, this one's one side. And it took me a little bit because I hadn't really done it. My boys said they did it some in like computer programs. So we did have to buy these so that they'd be very specific. And then I went ahead and bought extra, they're called build it cards on Rainbow Resource and that's what these are because the lessons were a little bit harder and I felt like we weren't quite there because we'd never done it. So my, the twins were having a lot of trouble with it. So I got two sets of build it cards, I believe, level one, and level two. And I just had them practice every single day. Um, so they're getting better and better at it. And then I got a couple extra books that go with it. This is, these are all McGruffy Press. This is a, I do not know how to say this, Pentomino puzzle book and it gives them kind of things, challenges and stuff. We did have to buy the, the manipulatives that go with this. They really like it, but they were getting confused in their lesson on some stuff that they had to do. So this helped kind of set them up. So they could practice a little bit extra. So they always do better if they have more chances to learn something. They kind of have to, they have to have a lot of repetition before they move on. So we did have to buy the things that go with that. And then we bought, and I bought the Tanagram, 
sorry, I'm saying that wrong, Tangram Adventures. And that has come into handy also because they've had a couple, they really liked building with them and we actually had Tangrams already with Bright Start. So we were able to, that was one thing I didn't have to buy, but I went ahead and bought the book because look, you can do it the easier way and then you can do the harder way. And it has so many things, um, ways for them to practice and kind of get it in their head, how to build with it. They do really well when there's places to actually put the shapes and it tells you how, but when they give an open space and want you to figure out which ones go where, what shapes, they get a little overwhelmed. And this is all from, these are all from McGruffy, um, and they're all from Rainbow Resource and they had a pretty good, pretty good price. I think they were around $10, a little bit less a piece. Um, but I just felt like that the extra was really good for them. And also geoboard pictures. I had to buy, I don't have those over here, do I? I had to buy the actual, I don't have them, the actual geoboards. And I did buy those from Rainbow Resource, I think. And then I bought this, I bought a set. I might've bought those from Amazon. I should look. But Rainbow Resource has them as well. We had some geoboards, so I thought it'd be fine, but they weren't the right size. And they were already getting confused um, by the shapes and stuff and the stuff that they had them do. So getting the exact same size was really helpful. And then also I had them practice with this book. So they did extra work and that was helpful. The clock that we had for Right Start, that works. We use that a lot. Um, so that's still great. And then the play money that we had for Right Start, we use a lot for word problems. And word problems were a huge hurdle for my girls in Right Start. They could not see them. They could not do them. And for some reason in McCruffy, they have been able to actually do them. And at first I thought that maybe it was just, they're a little simpler, which that might be part of it. But also, I don't know if you can see this. Me. Ah, it's not going to focus, is it? Okay, on this book, you can kind of see that they have these pictures next to them. I think that these pictures are helping my girls kind of see the actual problem. It kind of helps them know, kind of gives them some idea what, what this thing is story is talking about because actually just understanding the story is a big deal. This is another thing that I really like. <clears throat> Let me get that back focused. Really like about McRuffy and that it's slightly different than Right Start. Their teacher's manual, it's a little bit smaller because there's two of them for the whole year. So it's lessons one through 80 and then the other one's, you know, 81 through 150 or 160. I don't remember which. But the lesson is laid out so that you can read the lesson and it's, and it has it in bold the part that you're going to be reading to the, that's more like the part that you need to read to the child and might be helpful for information to the child. But this part has no answers on it. So I don't have to worry about my child accidentally seeing the answers or anything like that. I can just fold it up and the answer's on the other side. So while I'm reading it, the answers are not out front in front of them. And that was a kind of a problem. I was constantly trying to cover it up so my child didn't accidentally see the answers on right start. But on McCruffy, the answers are on the other side and they're all slightly smaller print. So that has been really helpful. <clears throat> They've done a pretty good job on repetition, I feel like. I feel like that the repetition is pretty good for my girls so far. They've not they've not really um, forgotten much. They have a couple things that I've been, they don't introduce yet that I'm trying to get them to still do because we already learned those concepts with Right Start and I don't want them to have to redo it. You know, like um, doing trades where you write the trade over when you're adding two digit and three digit numbers. Well, they were adding those numbers already in Right Start and they had already learned how to do a trade and where you write the one above the next, you know, the next place value. Um, and they aren't doing it yet in this and I wasn't pushing it and my girls regressed really quickly. So I am trying to make sure I keep a hold of any of those things, strategies and things that they've already learned. But otherwise, we're doing really good and I feel like we're on the, a course right now. If we keep doing at the same level, we should, or the same pace, we should be able to finish this math curriculum the same time we were going to finish Right Start. And we've, we started like a year and a half later. 
So <laughs> that is definitely a plus. So I'm really excited that we might actually be done with the second grade book by next fall or winter. And so we can get started on the third grade. So far so good. They really like it. So I think I think I that was all that I had that we did. I would recommend buying the manipulatives package with that even if you have right start because it is difficult to get the amount you need of everything. That's the main problem. Rainbow Resource is really good about that. You can buy just one geo board, you can buy just one set of something. But otherwise you want to try to buy it on Amazon. It's in bulk and it's huge amounts and you don't need that many usually. I am liking this a lot better for teaching m multiple children because I'm teaching two right now. I'm thinking about putting my preschooler in the kindergarten version in the fall. I'm trying to decide. I still really like the um, just where rights to start puts you. It just it does really give you the right start. So I am still toying with the idea of starting my soon-to-be kindergartner in right start instead because it gives you such a good math foundation instead of McRuffy. But I just don't know that I'm going to have the time because it is a very time intensive and I tell people that if they have a lot of one-on-one -on -one time I would probably recommend right start. I was teaching it the same exact level to two at the same time and I was it was great. It was you know it was a little bit of work but it worked fine and I loved the I loved the comprehension the math comprehension they got from it it was really good. But McRuffy is very similar has lots of hands-on stuff for them to do it really pushes hands-on and seeing math so I really like that right start does also but it does it with a worksheet that makes it super easy and we can get done with our math lesson sometimes in 10 to 15 minutes which is kind of huge because it would take so much time it was taking us at least 30 minutes to an hour um, and sometimes it would just take us you know several days so to do right start I'm, I I am really liking this approach a lot more. I am using a lot of that foundation we got with Right Start. So I I'm, don't know how this would go without any kind of foundation room Right Start. It might go great. We didn't start with the kindergarten one. So I'd be I'd be happy to know how it goes for people that start from the very start with this. Um, so yeah, really liking it. And... I will probably update when we maybe when we finish this book. I will or when we finish this le this whole grade and what I decide for the fall if I'm going to go ahead and do right start or if I'm going to do McCruffy for my soon to be kindergartner.